Hello, everybody. Welcome to Yoga Sculpt. Um, weights can go at the top of your space. We're actually going to get started standing. And you can just find kind of a neutral spot for your feet if they want to be hip width distance or a little bit wider. Find a nice strong base. And just start by taking a few shoulder rolls. Welcome back. And then start to let this come to your elbows. So drawing elbows up and around. And then taking this into the arms, full circles, try to reach extension in front and behind us. And then we're gonna reverse all of that. So start with the shoulder, just going the opposite way. And bringing it up to the elbows. And then full arm circles, finding that extension in front and behind. And then go ahead, reach both arms up towards your ceiling. Take your left wrist, and lift up and over, find a side bend. Coming back up and then switch, taking the right wrist over. And reaching back up, we'll take an easy twist from those right arms behind us. And then switch, send that left hand behind, just start to get a little bit of a twist going. And swing, and swing. And coming back to the front, we're just gonna start with the top of our head, starting to roll down one vertebrae at a time. Knees can bend. Whenever you reach the bottom for yourself, you have a couple sways, maybe in the hips, soften the knees. You can shake your head gently, yes, or shake it no. Where we are, we're going to step our left foot back behind us, starting a low lunge. Take a couple of rocks here, just kind of rocking forward and back. Press through the heel. And go ahead and soften that left knee down. Fingertips can stay or they can draw up to that right knee, just opening up the chest and the hip. We're going to release back down and we're going to step back, finding a high plank, press out through both heels, then finding that same rocking forward and back on both feet. And releasing down to our shins, finding our tabletop. From here, we're going to send those left toes back behind us, reach the right hand forward, float that left leg, reach the arm forward. We're going to exhale and draw elbow and knee in. Inhale, reach straight out. Exhale, elbow and knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow and knee. One more, reaching out. Elbow and knee. And inhale, reach. Bring just that right hand down. Float the left toes back down. Lift up and then bend your elbows, finding a little push up. Press up. Float the toes down, straight up, push up, and down, two lift, push up, down, lift, push up, find two more, down, lift, push up, last time, down, two lift, push up, we're going to release that left leg back in. Tuck the toes, send the hips up and back, finding a down dog, take a couple breaths. And from here, walk those feet up to our hands, taking our hold. This time, finding a bend in the door, knees, sweep the right fingertips to the ceiling, find a twist. And release, switch out, opening the left hand. Gently release, 
Right foot's gonna step back, finding your lunge. Take a few rocks again, press out through the heel. And finding that right knee down, hands can stay on the floor or they can draw up to that front leg. We're gonna release high planks, hold here. Take that rocking forward and back. And then releasing down to our knees and shins, tabletop. This time send the right toes back, left arm reaching forward. We're gonna float, reach up. As we exhale, elbow and knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow, knee. Inhale, reach, elbow, knee. One more, inhale, reach, elbow and knee. Inhale, reach, just the hand back down, send the right toes down. Lift up, push up, here we go, toes down. Two lift, push up, down, lift, push up. Three more, down. Lift, push up, last two, down, two lift, push up, one more, down, lift, push up, bring that right leg back in, tuck the toes, send our hips up and back, finding down dog. From here, bring those feet up to our hands, taking our foot. Finding our weights, we're going to come all the way up. We're going to bicep curl, we're going to send our left toes back. Tap that knee, come back, then switch, right toes, come back, left, come back, and right, continue to alternate the left, step, and up. Elbows close. Here we are for four. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna send that left foot back and hold that left foot behind us. Bringing our chest forward, we're in a row. Elbows up and down. Squeeze and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring the weights in. We're gonna spin open. We're gonna start to shift over to that left leg. We're gonna bend the knee, tap the weights down. Come up, now we're gonna bend both knees and press to the left, center, press and up. Left and press, reach down, come up and press. Here we go for five, press, four, Press, last three, two press, four, two, press, one more, and press. We're gonna turn back to the front, bring that left foot to meet our right. Weights come down, finding high plank. Hold here, we're gonna bring our right hand underneath our right shoulder, side plank. You can stack your legs or separate. Hold here, if you wanna add a little bit more, pulse those hips. Pulse and pulse or hold strong for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, high plank in two, one, high plank hold. Here we go. We're going to send those left toes towards the ceiling. Stretch up. Now bring your knee to nose. Shift forward. Stretch that leg up. Shift forward. Use the hamstring lift. Come forward. Last two. Stretch up. Come forward and lift. Draw forward. Step back down. Duck. Bring feet to our hands. Take your fold. Finding our weights. Come up. Here we go. We're going to start with the right leg. Bicep curl. Tap that knee down. Come back and left. Alternate. Step back. 
your versions here for four, three, two, one. Now we're going to send the right foot back. We're going to hold that right leg behind us. Chest is forward, row, elbows up and down. Hold the legs. Four, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to come up, spin open, let those right toes open up. We're going to bend over to our right knee. Weights tap down. Center. Press, come up to the right, and up, press, down, come up, press, down, and up, press, five, and press, four, two, press, last three, press, two, Press, finish it out, one. Press, turn back to the front, bring those weights down, finding our high plank, hold here. This time, left hand underneath our shoulder. Find your side plank, stacked or separated. You can hold strong, take a little pulse in the hips. Squeeze that on your side. For six, five, four, three, two, one, find your way to your high. And now we're going to send those right toes up. Lift through the hamstring. Draw your knee to nose. Shift forward. Stretch that right leg up. Knee to nose. Three more. Lifting up. Knee to nose. Stretch up. To your nose. One more. Lift. Knee to nose. Come back to your down dog. Stretch out long. Take a couple breaths. From where we are, go ahead, come down to your tabletop. Release to our knees and shins. We're gonna start with that left leg. Leg up and down and lift and down. Flip and down. For six, five, four, three, two, one, now we're going to lift toes to the ceiling, and in, lift, and in, eight, seven, six, five, four, right leg in, three, two, one, now take the right leg, and lift, and down, out to the side, low, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now taking those toes straight up, bring it down. Lift and down. Eight, seven, last six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Come back to your tabletop. Tuck the toes, stretch back down, dog. Walk those feet up to our hands, taking our fold. Find our weights, come all the way up to stand. This time we're gonna march, lift, and down. Find those bicep curls, and down. Lift, and down, and lift. Here for six. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to send that left foot back. You're going to tap down, press, bring it up, press down, bring it up, back, and up, down, bring it up. Here, six, press, five, four, three, two, one, now we're gonna step that left foot back, bring the weights forward. We're gonna swing out together, wing span, legs strong, out and up. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Weights are up. We're going to spin open. Same thing. We're going to tap over to that left side. Come up. Now press forward. And in. Down. Up. Forward. Down. Come up. And forward. Lean down. And up. Forward. Four. Press. Three. And press. Four, two. Press one and press, turn back to the front. Right away, we're gonna march. Take the right leg and down, left and down, right, left, alternate here. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now take the right foot back, tap the knee, press, bring it up. Down, bring it up, back, come up, last six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to take that right foot back, hold the leg, reach forward, wing set up, and then down, out, and down. Last five, four, we'll open in three, two, one, turn open, let those right toes out, bending into that right knee, come up, press forward, and down, press, reach down, press, down, and press, last four, Press four, three, press two, press and one. Press, turn back to the front, weights down, find your way to your high plank, hold that high plank. From this high plank, take those feet a little bit wider. We're gonna alternate hand to shoulder and down. And down, hand to shoulder, or you can take hand to your wrist. Ribs, you can choose. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold your high plank for a moment. We're going to release down to those knees and shins. We're going to come into dolphin. Go ahead and release to your forearms. You can interlace the hands. Stack them or keep them wide. Think of your down dogs. We're going to tuck the toe. Send your hips high. Now feel free to stay on that down, that dolphin hold there. Feel it in your triceps and shoulders. Or you can start to take dolphin kisses. You're going to gently rock forward. Think chin or forehead towards the floor in front of your hand. And pressing back. If you're taking your dolphin kisses, your knees can stay a little bent, but shifting forward, shifting back, forward, and back. Or stay in your dolphin. Choose your variation. We're going to keep holding or keep moving here for 10, four, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Last four, three, two, find your way to your dolphin first. Slowly lower down to those knees and shins. Take a moment, stretch out, release. Give yourself a couple big breaths there. Breathe as you need to. All right, whenever you feel ready to rejoin, you're gonna find your way down to a seat. We're gonna find our way onto our backs and bring the weights with you. But just bring them off to the side, make sure they're close by. So finding our way down onto our backs, we're gonna start to take this into our bridge. So start by pressing hands into the legs, lengthen the front of the body. 
Press down equally to the big toe and the little toe. And then start to peel the hips off the floor, finding our bridge. We're gonna hold here. If at any point you need to let those hips back down to the floor, that's okay. We're gonna try to work the inner thigh a little bit. So we're gonna send those bright toes towards the ceiling. See if you can kind of turn your foot out a little bit. So think big toe towards me and pinky toe away from my face. So we're gonna lower that right leg down. Lift back up, use the inner thigh, lower down. And lift. And down again, if you need to come out of your bridge, you can. Lower down. And lift, here we go, six. Two, lift. Five, lift. Four, two, lift. Three, two, lift. Two, lift. One, lift. Bring that right foot back down. Lower the hips to the floor. Now here, keep the hips down. Send that right leg high. This time your leg can stay parallel. We're just going to send that right leg out to the side a little bit and then squeeze back up. Inner thigh, sending it out. Squeeze back up. It can be a little bit lower, it can be a little bent, but it's inner thigh work. Squeeze back up. Lower out. Squeeze back up. And low. Squeeze up. Five. And squeeze. Four. Two, squeeze, three, and squeeze, two, squeeze, and one, and squeeze. Bring that right leg back in. We're gonna send those hips up, heel off the floor, finding your bridge. Other side, so left leg straight up. See if you can rotate that leg out a little bit. Big toe towards your face, pinky toe away. Lower the leg, press back up. And down, two, lift. Hips stay lifted or release. Down, two, lift. Two, lift, here we are for five. Lift, four, lift, three, two, lift, two, lift, and one. Lift, bring that left leg back in. Lower the hips down to the floor. Legs are gonna stay, hips stay. Stretch that left leg up, stays parallel. Swing those toes out, any amount. Squeeze back up, take it out. Squeeze up, out, squeeze up. Out, see if you can hold the core strong. Out, two, up, five, two, lift. Four, squeeze up. Three, two, squeeze. Last two, squeeze. And one, squeeze it up. Release that left foot back down. Find your weights. We're gonna hold those legs or you can take it a little more challenging. Inverted tabletop, squeeze the legs together. Wherever we are, arms straight up towards the ceiling, micro bend the elbows. We're gonna send those arms overhead. Come back to center. If you want to, send those toes down and away. Back together. Reach out. Together. Or hold the legs where they were. Together. Out. Together. Out. Together. Eight. Seven. Four. Six. For five, four, and three, four, two, and one. Bring those toes back down if they were lifted. Release those weights out. Draw your knees to your chest. Give a little rock. Give a little shake. From here, go ahead. Let those knees. Both fall towards the left side. Take a couple moments. Just make sure the hips, low back are strong, but protected. We're gonna bring our hands behind the head. We're gonna extend that right leg out. So we're gonna curl up, draw that right knee towards our chest, lengthen back out. 
lift and curl. So working abdominals, more of the obliques. Lift straight up, kick it out. Lift and down. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go ahead, release. Switch those legs over to the other side. Take a couple moments. Check in with the hips and the low back first. Make sure they're strong but relaxed. When you're ready, hands behind the head. Stretch that left leg out. We're going to curl. Bend that left knee up. Extend. Squeeze. Extend. Two lift. And out. Here for six, five, four, three, two, one. As we finish, unwind those legs, bring them back in. You can give a little rock a couple times, length of your spine. And then whatever you need to do to flip over to our bellies. So we're going to find our way down. We're going to bring our arms out to a goal post. And we're going to do both arms and legs together. So as you're ready, you're going to inhale, lift everything up. And lower down as you exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Might go a little bit slower, faster with your breath. Clue in. Inhales, lift. Exhales, lower. Take five. Four. Three. Two. One, as we release, anchor the feet into the floor. Hands can stay or if it helps to bring the fingertips behind the head. We're going to just lift our upper body. Keeping yourself lifted, tip your right elbow towards your right hip. Back to center. To the left. Center. Right. Center. Left. Center. You can engage the glutes a little bit to help protect the back. Press down into the floor with the feet. Right, center, left. Two more, both sides. Right, center, left, center, right, center, and left. As we come back to the center, slowly release. You can find your way up to your tabletop. Maybe give a little movement through the spine if that feels good. Move it around. As you kind of shake it out, you can then return your way back up into a down dog, just stretching everything out long. There, maybe give your head a little nod, yes. Maybe shake it a little, no. And then from wherever we are in our down dog, stepping our right foot up and through to find our way back to our lunge. Go ahead, tap that left knee down. Bring the hands up to that right leg. We're gonna take a little twist, so reach the left arm high, bringing it across the body. So finding an easy twist to open the chest. Unwinding that twist, let the fingertips come back down. Walk that right foot out a little bit to the side. So widen that stance in your hips and your feet. Gently draw the hips and the chest forward. You 
go ahead, just start to send that left knee up and away from the floor. Send that right foot back, taking our down dog. We'll switch out, so bring your left foot forward. Finding our way to our lunge, tapping that back knee down. Hands can come up to that front leg. Adding in our twist, so right arm reaching high, lengthen the side of the body to then take a twist. And then gently unwind, hands can come down, walk that left foot maybe out a little bit to the side. Softening hips and chest forward. Wherever we are, we're going to start to lift that right knee up and away from the floor, stepping back, finding our down dog, stretch out. Go ahead, walk those feet up to our hands, taking a fold. We're going to hang out here for a few breaths. If you want to add a little bit extra for your IT band, you can take a cross forward fold. So you're going to just slide those right toes back behind you, put on the diagonal. Maybe that foot comes close, maybe it reaches out and away. You can play around with the hips moving a little side to side or a little rocking forward and back. Go ahead, switch out, sending that left leg behind. Again, it can be more on the diagonal rather than close. Hips can move, we can shift our weight. We can bring that left leg back underneath us, finding that fold, keeping our chin to our chest, knees bent, and slowly rolling up through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. As we come all the way up to stand, just start the same way that we began our whole class, take a couple shoulder rolls, and then go ahead, reverse that right away. And then take it into the elbows, go one direction a few times. And go ahead, reverse. And then take the full arms up and back. And again, reverse. And gently reach both arms high, taking our left wrist, easy side bend. Stretching back up and then switch, take the right wrist. And gently come back up, release the arms, shake it out. Great, nice work everybody. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.